In 2021 through 2022, I joined forces with the Credit Crusader. We made numerous videos with the intent of taking down a known fraudster known as Mike Rando of the Credit Game. Working with the Credit Crusader, we were able to direct a lot of people to the FTC, which eventually got them interested in Mike Rando and the Credit Game, and he got shut down for good. So with this video, I'm going to take a look at the after effects of that. All right, so as a first step, we're gonna look at Duval County. Duval County, Florida, they give excellent records, usually full documents on the entire case. They give a lot of information. Now, a lot of these I already found in previous videos, and I'll link to some of those at the end of this one, but there's seven pages on this guy. Now, I, I do remember that I believe at least his father has the same last name, or the same full name, actually, so we wanna pay attention to the DOBs, 425-81. Uh, this is all old stuff, 2007, there's criminal stuff in here, there's civil stuff in here, 2001, 99, 98, uh, but there's seven pages, so I don't know if it's all going down, we'll see. Yeah, it looks like it, oh no, not uh, 97, 2004, so it looks like it's mixed in, I don't see a way to organize by date, at least in this screen, so let's just go through the pages, and well, I was going to say let's go through and see if we can find some later stuff, but here's some, that's Michael Anthony Randolph, so that's not it. Um, I guess we're going into other names here. I'm going to look at a couple more pages real quick just to make sure we're done with the randos. Uh, looks like it. That's all Randolph. So, yeah. All right. So there's nothing later in uh, Duval County when we have some of the old stuff, which I think the newest one looks to be 2014. So uh, nothing new. So he's staying out of trouble since he was last in trouble. And this guy's been in a lot of trouble. I mean, uh, there was a check fraud incident with some older lady that he basically, I don't want to misquote, so we'll just say allegedly from what I remember, uh, stole her checks or her identity or something and used them to get money. Later on, there was an incident selling, uh, I think it was steroids or something, it was some kind of drug. I think it was steroids and he got busted by the DEA. And then, of course, there was the credit game and all the uh, fraud that took place there. So anyway, let's uh, jump on to the next search. So here we have his LinkedIn credit game, Mike teaching the masses how to build personal credit and how to build business credit so you can achieve the goals you deserve, hacks to expedite your success in Jacksonville, Florida. Sometimes under contact information, you get some more information, other websites, DOB and such. Uh, there's not much there, but there's four connections and 64 followers. So clearly he hasn't developed this up. And he goes on with his story here. I think I reviewed this in a previous video, um, but that's his uh, little bio story. It doesn't look like there's any recent activity. Let's see here. Yeah, the last piece of activity was from two years ago. So there's, I don't think there's really anything interesting here. Um, that's pretty much all of his LinkedIn. So we'll move on. All right, so here we are on Mike Rando's Facebook, and this is facebook.com forward slash green for gold, the number four, then gold. And uh, that was the same website address that he had. So this is the same profile. I don't know if he's anywhere else on Facebook, but this is the last profile that I had. It's definitely a little more private than it what it was. There was friends list, there was uh, followers, there was a bunch of different things here. So this is a lot more private. The last public post was November 16th, 2022. And it looks like he's at an event here. It's comments, uh, nothing much there. We have uh, another 2022 post and another one in front of a nice vehicle here. And yeah, so kind of cheesy. Yeah, that's that looks to be it. There's not a lot here. I'm going to take one of these images. Uh, we'll say this image of him right here. Uh, this was, was this uh, like a little less than, a little more than a year ago. We'll take this image and I'll put it into the facial recognition search, uh, facecheck.id, and we'll see what that brings us. You know, a lot of these investigations I do, I'm doing it as I'm making the video. So I'm not doing everything ahead of time sometimes, but most of the time it's while I'm making the video. As I'm recording this video, this is my first time seeing this. With someone like Mike Rando that has a lot of stuff on YouTube or had a lot of stuff on YouTube at least, uh, you're not going to find too many personal images or social media, but it's still worth a look. I think this uh, LinkedIn here is probably what we already have. We'll check it out. And yeah, this is the same LinkedIn profile we had. So let's go back to the results. It looks like all this stuff is YouTube. Various years, you can tell by his face. Um, looks pretty young here and uh, definitely a little older in some of these. There's also a TikTok here, CG Mike one 
Uh, one thing to remember is that sometimes people create fake profiles to capitalize off a person's success. That might be him, it might not be, but we'll take a look. Oh, video currently unavailable. Uh, let's check out just the profile itself and see if there's anything there. Couldn't find this account. All right, so the TikTok is down. See if there's anything else. Uh, all YouTube. This says Investor Mike BNB. So this might be another LinkedIn or it might be an archive LinkedIn. And it's the same one we looked at. Uh, let's let's see. Okay, so this is a brand new LinkedIn. Now it only has three connections, so clearly he hasn't developed it up. There is a website I can check out in a moment. Uh, never start or never start an Airbnb business without knowing these five killer steps. And he goes on to talk about that a little bit. The oh, so he is actually active on this. The last uh, posted uh, thing here is two hours ago, and it was to say, I get this question a lot. What happens if I don't get bookings and can't pay rent? So we'll definitely have to check out that YouTube channel. I know someone told me recently. I think it might have been the Credit Crusader, but someone told me that he had another channel. I just hadn't looked into it. So we'll definitely review that in a little bit. But let's see what else is on his LinkedIn. I'm surprised that he's so active on his LinkedIn, but he only has three connections. That's a little odd. Uh, so how much does it cost to start an Airbnb business 10 hours ago? So he's regularly posting here. It just doesn't seem like anyone is interested. So let's continue the investigation. So here we are on the website that was listed on his LinkedIn, yourbnbblueprint.com. And there's nothing here. It says this domain is expired. Is this your domain renewed now? And yeah, there's just nothing here at all. So it looks like uh, while he is active on his LinkedIn, he's definitely not at this site anymore. All right, guys. So I am blown away by this. This is Investor Mike's YouTube channel. Just under 2,000 subscribers, but 619 videos. It's a lot of videos to have under 2,000 subscribers. I talk about how to start and scale an Airbnb business without purchasing any property. And it leads to a page it says event uh webin webinar jam.com and there's a uh more to it so it looks like that link is actually up so this is just a landing page i'm not going to go through it but uh let's go back to the channel but again we have 619 videos here and look i'm not one to talk i don't have a very big channel i'm just under 7,000 subscribers i don't recall how many videos i have on my channel Looks like I have 517 videos, uh, just under 7,000 subscribers. This uh, channel has almost no views on the videos. A video he put out four hours ago, which we'll take a quick look at that in a minute, but a video he put out four hours ago has 11 views. That is horrid. One day ago, 42 views. Two days ago, 60 views. Two days ago, 15 views. And the thumbnails aren't bad. Like These are decent thumbnails, at least to me, if I was looking for advice on an airbnb so are the videos just crap or did he buy views in the past for the credit game channel because i mean it looks like these should be getting more views but it's doing horrible uh two weeks ago 68 views three weeks ago 33 views the number one mistake to avoid when starting an airbnb business uh yeah these are let's check out the most uh popular ones are the sh first are there shorts there are shorts even his shorts are doing horrible. Like even my worst short won't do this bad. Uh, no views, two views, uh, four views. Like a lot of these are single digits. The, I don't understand it. Maybe YouTube just isn't pushing his videos because he got shut down in the past and it's another account. I don't know if that's how it works, but single digits on, I, I don't even know how that's possible to get single digits. I think it must be something with YouTube. Uh, maybe they just don't want to push out his videos because of what happened. I don't know, but I, you could do a video just walk, uh, watching your dog walk across the room with some epic music or something and get into the triple digits at least. Uh, but these have, um, I have a couple that didn't really do well, but not this bad. I don't even know how that's possible. So let's look at the popular ones. All right, so we do have some in the popular range that did well. Uh, we have a few lines of these, so at least there's something, but... A lot of them didn't. A lot of them just triple digits, double digits, single digits. So let's uh, check out the videos and look at the what's popular. So look at the most popular one. So the most popular video he has is 3.1 thousand views. And there's just a few of those that are in the thousands, four of them, and then that are a thousand or over. And then we get to the uh, triple digits here on some of his videos. 
And as we scroll down, we start getting into the double digits. And then there's just video after video after video that's in the double digits. It's crazy. So, all right. Yeah, let's check out the last thing on his channel, the community section. And let's see here. Uh, one like right there. And this one was uh, two weeks ago. One like. That could be by him, too. Uh, one like. So no one is paying attention. Oh, there's a comment here. Let's see what this is. Read more. Oh, it's him. <laughs> okay. So the only comment is uh, him. Yeah, this is not good on his channel. I mean, I don't mind one bit. He's out there allegedly uh, scamming a lot of people. Actually, I think it's safe to say at this point with the FTC involvement, not allegedly. But yeah, this is really bad. Oh, that one has five likes. So yeah. All right. So why don't we take a look at a couple of his videos? I'm not going to play much because I feel like Mike Randall's the type of guy to do a copyright strike. So we'll just play some segments. Because this video is going to be so power packed every second of every minute to give you the value, the tip, tricks, and strategies, how you can increase your occupancy immediately just by implementing some of the strategies I'm going to give you right here. Let's dive right into it. So, All right. So I have no idea what's going on with his YouTube channel. Um, I don't know if it's a YouTube thing or it's something else, but also on his LinkedIn, he was getting no interaction either. So I don't know what's going on with him. Maybe he was buying views in the past and he just doesn't know how to make videos, but his videos did have good flow to it. It had a good opening. Uh, the thumbnails were strong. So I think it's more of a YouTube thing, just not wanting to push out his videos based on what happens. But again, it's not like YouTube advertises this stuff. So that's just a guess, but you can let me know what you think in the comments. We're going to end here with this Federal Trade Commission report. It says FTC action leads to permanent ban for scammers behind the credit game, credit repair scheme. And you can read all this stuff. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description. But really, I want to show you the requirements which were agreed to by the defendants in the case. Permanent ban on credit repair. The randos and their companies are permanently banned from operating or assisting any credit repair service of any kind. Prohibition against unsubstantiated claims. The orders would also prohibit the defendants from making claims about the benefits, performance, or efficacy of any good or service without sufficient supporting evidence and turnover possessions. The orders would require the dependents to turn over numerous properties, including their interest in numerous real estate investments, a Lamborghini, Maserati, Land Rover, and a golf cart. Okay. Uh, in the contents of numerous bank investment and life insurance accounts, these assets would be liquidated by a court appointed receiver and the funds used by the FTC to provide refunds to consumers harmed by the scam. So there you have it. Mike Rando is shut down. I don't know how much of a part I played in that and the Credit Crusader played in that. I'd like to think we played a pretty big part considering we directed a lot of people to making FTC complaints and exposed a lot of things about Mike Rando. Uh, you can judge that for yourself. Do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys on the next one.